Among Lebanon's mountainous terrain, the Bekaa Valley is a fertile plain, home to most of the country's agricultural production. Lebanon's economic collapse has made the imported seeds and fertilizer needed for vegetable production prohibitively expensive, and more and more farmers are seeking a reliable, if modest, income in one of the Bekaa's major cash crops, cannabis. The weather and the geography of the environment don't have such a damaging effect, so the hashish plant is the lowest cost and highest yield crop we have. Still illegal in Lebanon, marijuana has been grown in the Bekaa for more than a century. It is a reliable crop, but it's a last resort for farmers as the bulk of the profit goes to dealers and smugglers. The farmer is farming hashish because none of the other crops are profitable. And these farmers are the first to ask that the government to offer another alternative for us to live and feed our kids. Give us an alternative. Antoine Habshi, member of the Lebanese parliament for Baalbek Hermel, one of the Bekaa's largest constituencies, has campaigned for the legalization of Lebanon's cannabis industry. He believes the problem has deep roots and has only been made worse by the crisis. The situation of Baalbek Hermel is a very bad situation economically, socially, security-wise. It's completely clear with the failure of the legitimate market and the state of law, the illicit market is growing and has a clear negative impact on Lebanon. This hashish producer in the Hermel region, who wished to remain anonymous, believes there is no viable alternative left open to him. The state said they'd do something, and they did nothing. No pardons and no support for people to live in this area. People need to live. They have children to support. You need at least milk and diapers, and they cost a fortune now. What else can a person do in this area? For now, farmers say growing illegal cannabis is providing only a temporary lifeline as the Bacar Valley searches for a long-term solution to its economic troubles. Jacob Russell for VOA News, Bacar Valley.